world. Hi, welcome to my couch. We're back. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back. It's been a minute. I tried to film some stuff in Ontario. Uh, just, <laughs> it wasn't good. Um, so here we are. So today, we're just, I just want you to sit down, unpack with me. It's kind of like a Christmas haul, I guess. I have some errands and stuff to do for a bit, so I'm sure we're going to take a fatty break at some point. But I woke up this morning, I have an eyebrow appointment coming up, and so I have to head out. I can't really, honestly, this watch is hard to read. I'm not going to lie to you. I could just be an idiot. Uh, but let's see what's going on here. Two hours later. It's 9.52 right now. I have to leave at like 10.50ish to get there on time. So 9.52, 10.50, we've got a solid hour to do some work before I have to leave the house again. So I think we should probably just get to it. I'll go ahead here and show you the scene that we're looking at so we got well this is my my new tripod baby um there is my suitcase and there is my other suitcase and here's just like a bunch of crap that's all around my house right now um and so i'm gonna readjust i'm gonna sit you down here with me and we're gonna get going <laughs> don't really know what the best way to tackle this is. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna t t like take stuff out and set it into a clothing pile and another stuff pile and then get the suitcase out of here. That's the game plan. Okay, cool. We've got a plan. A man with a plan. Stan with a plan. Um, so if you want to see some... What the hell? So I got this avocado saver. Because it's like there's no there's no back to it. Um so I don't really know what this is, to be honest. My mother gave me a laser hair removal thing. Thanks, mom. She knows I needs it. This is my ring light. That should go somewhere else, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> I need a back game. It makes me feel chaotic. Do you guys want to see my cute new Vite stuff? Look! Super cute. Super excited. Cannot wait. I told I'm not flashing the camera. Let's do it, which looks tiny but probably is gonna look great on, on like that's she's a small boy for sure uh because i also got this one which is like a one piece i don't really own a ton of do i own i have one one piece maybe one i think i definitely have one i think that's the limit though this is part of the cocktail shaker, uh, where the rest is. Look, I got hair rollers. This is my tripod case. The glass that came with the shaker, it's got socks in it right now. Oh, I made this. Are you guys ready for this? I literally made it with my own two hands. I know, I'm super excited about it too, so thanks for sharing that with me. Oh, I got this makeup brush cleaner thingy. It's not in the box, so you can't see it, but it's like the little box, and then you put water and soap in it, and then it cleans your brushes. I haven't used it yet, but I need to, because my makeup brushes have not been cleaned in, I want to say, the last year. My baby is my big cargo pants. Ew, that's a giant hair ball. I haven't made my new babies. 
I love all my children. I'm going to be honest with you. You're so sweet. I love you. Okay, these are my other babies. Again, my children. My lovely... I would die for these boots. I would die for... Because these are like dupes. These are both the, those pairs of boots are from Pretty Little Thing. Um, so obviously they're not like the best quality. They're not bad quality, but they're definitely not the best. Um, but I would die for like a real designer pair of these boots. These ones I would cry for. The other ones I would like I, my children. I would absolutely die for. Some peanuts that have been in my purse for six months or more as some straws I got this as well from pretty little thing so cute so I'm gonna go put these two away I'll take you off the thingy here this is what we're dealing with now oh god <laughs> don't look at that I didn't see it through your eyes until right now so um yeah, this is what we're dealing with. That's fine. I'm just going to go take those two and pop them in a closet. And um, we're going to try not to cry about it, okay? Thanks. Why did the light go weird? All right, here's an update for you all. It's been an hour and I literally have not done anything. Um, I sat on my couch and I thought I was going to learn a TikTok dance. And then I looked at them for like 30 minutes and I was like, not today, folks. Uh, so we're still at this, but I got, um, my eyebrow appointment. I'll just turn you around, I guess, and we can do it. Ugh, yikes. Where is the light, bro? Hello? Um, anyways, so stay tuned because these bad boys are about to get fixed, so. Um... Hi, I ran out and got my eyebrows done. So, feeling good. Um, I have a call in 15 minutes. I really want to order sushi, but I really want to use it to motivate myself to like get through that. Like, get through that, and then you can have some damn sushi. I'll keep you in the loop. Okay, I've got 10 minutes before this call. I just turned you guys off, but I just grabbed these Quaker Crispy Minis veggie, a blend of brown rice, corn, and vegetables from the store, Italian herb and olive oil. Alright, so you stick 16 chips, 90 calories, 14 grams of carbs one gram of protein and three grams of fat tell me that that is not like a pretty good chip split okay so i actually just ate one in my mouth before before i started this um this video up so i mean i'm gonna do another one for you because it Smells like Italian herbs and olive oil. Lives up to its smell. These are top tier, absolutely phenomenal, incredible snacks. So if you, I've, I'm no complaints. Um, if you have some time today, please run out to the store and get Quaker Veggie Crispy Mini. So I've gotten off calls. I've, well, call, singular. Um, I'll give you a little update on how we're doing. Oh, God. Okay. I just filmed so much of this at a weird angle. Anyways, um, moment of truth. I don't know what you're looking at right now. Um, 
it, did you guess that stuff's done or did you guess that nothing's done? And let's see what happens. This is a fraction of the goodness that you just got, but if you guess nothing, you'd be right. And um, it's a glorious day, and I think I'm gonna go take a sun nap because that's what you do when it's beautiful out. So, two hours later. Hi. So, as you can see, it's nighttime. I have put makeup on my face. Um, and the pile is still here, but it's dwindling. So, um, I just wanted to give you a quick update. It's 5.45ish now, so I think I can get this done. I have full faith, but it will not be organized. And so, Soon there will be like a, I'll order some stuff tonight and, and do like an organizing video, I think. And it's gonna be real satisfying. But yeah, I haven't, um, hold on. I haven't ordered sushi yet. I know I talked about that at like 1 p.m. And so I will be definitely ordering sushi after this. But for now, cheers. Oh God. Okay, um, hopefully you're ready for your halfway update. Great song. Okay, remember when I said I was gonna take these suitcases away? And, um, still there, but once, they're empty, so that's like a huge chunk of space. Uh, like, that's empty floor. We're getting there. outfit change of the video um, guys I am so incredibly happy to say that we did it kind of um, I mean the suitcase still has to go up the closet because I didn't feel like lifting that right now bathroom sauce we cleaned and this kitchen area still has a few things that are that are sitting around but let me take you off your pedestal and let's let's see let's see what's happening this was the mess that you saw not too long ago and look at that so i have this kitchen area to deal with honestly it, it looks messier than it is like once that book's gone and like that stuff is washed whatever fine and that's it for that room is pretty much good pretty much good all my stuff's hung up in the closet pretty much good like some of the stuff like obviously i have a lot of shit down there so that's like organization video whenever i decide to organize my freaking life like that's when that's gonna happen so i'm not too chuffed about that or too unchuffed so there's my suitcase that i was talking about and then this is like the danger zone so please just don't judge me for this um yeah just don't look at that but okay that is the end of this video thank you for checking it oh i'm sorry that it really wasn't that eventful um sincerely i but you know what it was eventful for me i had a full day and I'm already thinking about my sushi order, so that's really exciting, and I can't wait for that to arrive, even though I haven't ordered it yet, but I can't, I literally cannot wait for that to arrive. I think that's it, so thank you for sticking with me through this, and I hope you have the greatest of days, or nights, or, or tomorrows, whatever, whenever you're watching this, and that's about it, just like, be sure to do all of those things, the like and the subscribe and the comment, if you feel that that's something that you'd like to do. So thank you. Okay, bye. Their ability to get laid. Uh, first we have
Stu Pickles. I would say that Stu would pull pretty hard in college, but sadly, the first girl that showed him affection, he locked it down right away. Uh, four out of ten, I don't like to use this term, but probably a simp. Phil and Lil's dad, I don't even know his name, but this dude, uh, he gets pegged, I'm assuming. I don't think he has the ability to get laid until he finds the woman that will dominate the shit out of him. So I guess it's a uh, five. We'll just give him a five. I know what you're thinking, right? Chucky's dad, a dork, definitely doesn't pull. You're not calculating in the absolute hammer he's got in his shorts. Eight out of ten. Angelica's dad, uh... Fuck this dude. If a girl didn't sleep with him, he 100% started an STD rumor. Zero out of ten. Fuck this guy. Rating...